Alright guys, what's going on? Welcome in. So look, the staff is finally starting to come together. Okay, we're starting to get some updates. We're figuring out who's going to be on this this Robert Sala staff. So let's dive in, right? Let's do a quick little rundown of some of the guys that have been mentioned. So we have three new coaches on the staff, along with the official news of Mike LaFleur coming over from San Fran as offensive coordinator. I know that was like, quote unquote, expected to get done. Now it's official. Okay, so it's LaFleur plus three other guys. So let's dive in and talk a little bit about some of these dudes that Bobby Sal has brought in. So let's get into it. So the first coach on the list is John Benton, right? He's coming over from San Francisco, working under Kyle Shanahan, Mike LaFleur, Mike McDaniel as their offensive line coach. Okay, so he's coming over, filling that same position with the O-line, but he's also going to be taking on the reins of run game coordinator. Okay, that is huge. John Benton's a guy who has extremely high regard all across the league, okay? Every really popular coach. He's been coaching offensive line since 1995. That's huge. Spent a little time at the college level too, but he's bounced around. He's been with a bunch of different teams. And not only did this guy just coach with Robert Sala in San Francisco, but he was also a part of the Jacksonville Jaguar staff and the Houston Texans staff while Sala was there. Okay, so it's definitely a familiar face. And really, you're taking a look at the 49ers offensive line play over the last couple of seasons. It's been terrific, right? We've said it time and time after this channel. Everybody knows the West Coast system is, is, is based off of the run success, right? You need to be able to run the ball in this, you know, Kyle Shanahan variation of the West Coast. So it's key, right? It's absolutely critical that this offensive line in this offensive scheme has production because if it doesn't again in this scheme the o-line is the really the engine if that area is struggling then the offense will be too um, there's really no other way around it. The O-line needs to have success. So overall, I like the hire. So the next coach we're going to be bringing in is Greg Knapp. Okay, now look, this is a veteran coach in this league. He's been around for a long, long, long time. He's been a quarterback's coach for a long time, all right? He's had a couple stints as offensive coordinator as well with the Raiders and the Seahawks. Uh, but one thing I, I do want to note about Greg Knapp is that he actually won a Super Bowl, right? So he is a Super Bowl champion coming in. He won it with the Denver Broncos with Peyton Manning uh, the year when they played the Panthers. Panthers. I forget what year that was, but I think it was like 2015 or 2016. Uh, anyway, Greg Knapp has a Super Bowl championship. He's also worked one season with uh, Robert Sala before that was at Houston. And he's coming from the Atlanta Falcons, right? He's coming from this Falcons team. He was there for three years from 2018 to up until this past season. Obviously, they cleaned house. They got rid of Dan Quinn. They brought in, they just actually hired Arthur Smith, which is going to be an interesting hire for them. But all in all, we're getting a veteran quarterbacks coach who's, you know, spent a lot of time with a lot of different teams a lot of different systems and I'm really excited to see what he kind of brings to the table because the quarterbacks coach man you know when, whenever you're dealing with a young quarterback it's absolutely key that you get guys in the building that know how to relate know how to put that put that player in a position to have success look at Justin Herbert for example I mean that offensive staff of course like you know Anthony Lynn aside because he got fired but I mean you're looking at the uh, you're looking at the offensive coordinator Shane Steichen and then the quarterbacks coach Pep Hamilton they did tremendous tremendous things for Justin uh Justin Herbert's development uh so really really fun to watch so last but not least, we're bringing in Rob Calabrese. All right, 30 years old, has not really been coaching for a long, long time here. Uh, actually, his first gig, believe it or not, it was a quarterback's coach position at Oviedo High School, which is uh, in Orlando. And I drive by that high school all the time when, I, you know, when I'm hanging out with like UCF Jaguar and stuff like that. It's crazy. Uh, I think Blake Bortles actually went to that school too, but... Anyway, he spent last year with the Denver Broncos as just an offensive quality control coach, which is, you know, a pretty common position. It's one of those like entry level positions if, you know, to get into coaching. Um, but I, the, the one thing I will say, he did work under Rich Gangarello, which is a guy who I really, really like. He's taken a lot of heat with almost playing it too safe, right? Being too conservative on certain play calls. But all in all, I think Rich Gangarello does a really nice job of taking care of the quarterbacks and not and, and really letting them understand that you don't have to chuck it 50 times a game you don't have to throw it you know 60 yards downfield at all times to have success okay so i do like the the addition i mean i'm not saying he is going to be scangarello here but he did work under him we don't really know too too much about him here so so i'll leave it there let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section did you like some of these guys do you wish we could have went out and, and hired maybe a bigger name or something like that um it's going to be interesting and one thing i do want to note there hasn't really been much news as far as the defensive side of the football is concerned. I'm really hoping for a Chris Richard. Um, there's still a lot of good defensive minds out there, but I think Richard makes a lot of sense just from a schematics point of view, um, working with Sala before. The age, the intensity that he coaches with as well. I think there's a lot of different things that they both check the same box for. So I'll leave it there. Let me know your thoughts. And as always, thanks so much for watching. Thanks so much for sticking with the channel. And as always, go Jets.